Hi friends, Allie here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet these snowflake and star appliques. These patterns are a part of a crochet advent calendar series I've been working on. If you're not familiar with the series, then check out my advent calendar playlist here on my YouTube channel or head over to my website, theturtletrunk.com, where it has all of the info and all of the free crochet patterns to make an advent calendar. But even if you're not making the advent calendar, you can still make these appliques and use them for whatever you'd like. You can sew them on projects or add a hanging loop and use them as decorations. Now, if you're ready to get started, let's head over to our supply list and let's get making. For these patterns, you'll need medium four weight yarn in white and yellow. You'll need about five yards of each. Feel free to use different colors if you'd like. You also need a 3.75 millimeter or F crochet hook, scissors, and a yarn needle. We're gonna make the snowflake first using our white yarn. I'm gonna start with a slip knot on my hook and then chain two. Then working in the second chain from the hook, I'm gonna work six single crochets. At the end of the round, we should have six single crochets and we are not going to join we're gonna work the first stitch straight into the first stitch from round one. So we're gonna work two single crochets into that next stitch. Feel free to use a stitch marker if you need to mark your place. And we're gonna work two single crochets into each stitch around for a total of 12 single crochets. At the end of round two, you should have 12 stitches around. Now working straight into that next stitch for round three, we're gonna work a slip stitch into the next stitch and chain four. Then slip stitch into the second chain from the hook, chain two, slip stitch in the second chain from the hook, chain two, and slip stitch in the second chain from the hook again. Now working back down that chain four from the beginning, we're gonna slip stitch in those last two chains. So there is our first tall point of our snowflake. Now we're gonna do this short point, so we're gonna slip stitch into the next stitch, chain two, single crochet in the second chain from the hook, and then slip stitch back into the same stitch from round two. And there is our small point. So we're just gonna repeat those two points of our snowflake all the way around. We'll have six of the tall points and six of the short points for a total of 12. So we're gonna slip stitch into the next stitch, chain four, slip stitch into the second chain from the hook, chain two, slip stitch into the second chain from the hook, chain two, slip stitch into the second chain from the hook, and then slip stitch into the last two chains, slip stitch into the next stitch, chain two, slip stitch into the second chain from the hook, and then slip stitch back down into the base. So just repeat that four more times around and I'm gonna catch back up with you when we reach the end. So I just reached the end of my snowflake and this is what it's looking like. So now you can cut off your yarn and weave in your ends on the back. And then there is our snowflake applique. Now we're on to our star using our yellow yarn. We're going to make a magic circle and chain one. Then we're gonna work 10 single crochets inside of the circle.
After you work the 10 single crochets, you could take this short tail end there and pull it tight. We are not going to be joining into the next stitch. We're going to be working in a continuous round. So going straight into that first single crochet from round one, we're going to work another single crochet to start off round two. Feel free to use a stitch marker if you need. Then into the next stitch, we are going to double crochet. chain two, and then double crochet back into the same stitch. And we're gonna repeat those last two steps all the way around. So single crochet into the next stitch, and then double crochet, chain two, double crochet into the next stitch. So I've just reached the end of round two and you should have a total of 25 stitches around. That's including your chain twos as stitches. So now we're on to round three and going into the first single crochet from round two, we are going to slip stitch, then single crochet into the next stitch, then working into the chain two space, we're going to double crochet, chain two, single crochet into the second chain from the hook, and then double crochet back into the chain two space again. Then single crochet into the next stitch. And then we're gonna repeat the instructions from the beginning all the way around to create five points total around. So I just slip stitched into the next stitch, so I'm gonna single crochet into the next stitch, then double crochet into the chain two space, chain two, single crochet in the second chain from the hook, double crochet back into the chain two space, single crochet into the next stitch. So we're gonna repeat that around three more times until you have a total of five points to your star. I just finished round three and I'm gonna end by slip stitching into the next stitch. Now you can cut off your yarn and weave in all of your ends. And we are done our star applique. If you want, you can wet or steam block your applique to straighten those edges and make those points nice and sharp. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed these tutorials. Be sure to check out my website or the playlist here on my YouTube channel for the rest of the advent calendar tutorials. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.